details now in a police involved shooting. We're learning cops received a call about domestic violence inside a home and when they arrived, that's when one of the officers says they were forced to shoot. CBS 4's Riel Creighton is live at the scene in West Miami Dade with the latest on the investigation. Riel. Well, Miami Dade's police director says it was a violent situation that unfolded this morning at a home behind this gate. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement is now investigating after an officer shot and killed a man. Miami Dade police investigating a murder that they say happened before the officer arrived. We believe this is a husband and wife situation. Uh, the wife is dead on the scene as well uh, from uh, extreme trauma to the body. What can only be described as a horrific scene. Miami-Dade Police Director Juan Perez briefing reporters outside this gated community, Caribe Lakes, as his officers surround a home inside. The aftermath after an officer responded to a call that came in early this morning, said Perez, as a domestic situation. The comments on the call led the officers to believe that this is, uh, you know, an extremely violent situation. Um, where someone was potentially killing someone else. Perez said once the officer entered, he found a woman dead and the victim's children, an adult and one teenager, then who police believed to be the husband. The officer said Perez forced to fire, shooting and killing him. The officer then encountered an individual, which is probably the perpetrator, encountered someone with a knife, and the officer potentially saved some lives today. Unfortunately, had to take someone's life in the process. Detectives swarmed the house all morning long, carting away evidence, including a pair of white sneakers. It's unclear if the victim's children were injured. Whether, said Perez, the officer was attacked or stopping an attack in progress is under investigation. The officer, who he described as a 17 year veteran of the department, is physically okay, but mentally, what happened here, he said, will be very difficult. It'll be a long time before the scene, the thoughts that, that he had to, uh, that he's undergoing right now um, before he gets rid of those thoughts. Now, Perez said the officer even tried to win, render aid to the man but could not save him. Meantime, we know that that 911 call did come from inside the home. So far, police have not released the names of anyone involved, including the officer. We're live in West Miami, Dade, Riel Creighton, CBS 4 News.